it's Oreo Gaming. We back in here with another video. Uh, today, like I said uh, in my previous Kanye whoopity boop shit, uh, this is going to be my Into the Badlands Season 3 Episode 2 review. I was coming into this like fresh as fuck on the episode. Like when it came on, you know, last night, I was like, okay, it wasn't really uh, nothing too like intricate and shit that popped off. So I'd be able to go in and explain it. I still think that's the case. But after that kind of shit, like, I don't know. Start out the episode with uh, T-Pain and Whoopi Goldberg. They, uh, they're on this, you know, voyage. Like, we saw last week the whole, the Messiah of Azura and all of that. And so it pretty much continues from there with Pain and uh, Whoopi taking the uh, their tribe of people to this, like, patch of grass type island in the middle of like a lake or some shit and they're saying that's like the chosen place and whatnot <clears throat> you know and I'll you know what because they you know like with instant balance you know it's like they go back and forth between like the stories and shit and so this piece or whatever had like three different parts in it so I'm gonna probably just talk about this whole shit at once or whatever and then get into the rest of the shit so like I said, Payne and Whoopi, they take this, their group of, their, you know, followers or whatever into this place. They get in there, it's like a bunch of, you know, fossils. It's, you got like some dinosaur fossils, some human shit, whatever. And a couple of the people don't, like, believe in the shit that they saying. Right? Like this whole, oh, a new day coming, we finna take care of all that type of shit. So it's a couple, you know, non-believers up in the group and shit. And so T Pain say, I who don't, you know, fuck with this. Like who ain't who ain't rocking with this shit? And then the four dudes come up. It was the old dude, like it was like an older guy. He he kinda started the whole wave of not believing in the shit. So it was him and then three other dudes. And T Pain was like, Alright, so I'ma blindfold myself and whoop y'all ass and show y'all like this is the fate. He said, I'ma let the fate of uh Whoever the fuck I can't think of the, the the spirit's name or whatever he's like I'm gonna let that shit got me or whatever and so he beat the fuck out of all of them it was like a dope like fight and whatnot like he beat the shit out of all three of them blindfolded the old guy's the last one standing of course you know to avoid getting royally just fucked and, and clapped you know he's like oh no oh, oh shit fam we good like I believe knowing damn well like nah man you're like you the one that started this you getting killed regardless like. You know what I mean? But anyway, you know, so he, he, he lived, you know, he said, oh, I, I believe, I got faith now, because, whatever. And so, then, fast forward to the end of the episode, uh, well, during that as well, T-Pain and Whoopi are talking, uh, uh, like at the beginning of the episode or whatever. The two t teens that I was talking about from last week that had the gift and shit, uh, well, yeah, we actually, we ultimately find out the gift or whatever kills well, I mean we we knew that right from like season one or whatever but we see the the boy of the two uh teens he's like dying and so <clears throat> yeah you know and so they him and the girl they're walking around this place like this area inside of the the, the shit or whatever and uh you know he's like hey we've you know I might not get to see Azure or whatever, and so the girl team, she was like, um, I can't think of her name, I think, uh, the boy's name was Cas Caster, I wanna say was his name, but, uh, yeah, and the girl, fuck, <laughs> the girl, she was like, oh, nah, uh, T-Pain promised us that we was gonna, you know, see this place together, and shit, and so he's like, yeah, and T-Pain, he was, he, he heard the whole shit, cause he was like, behind the door, creeping, and he heard the whole conversation because, you know, and so he started talking to Whoopi Goldberg about that shit. And he was saying, like, we got to prove to them that this shit, like, legit. And she was wondering, like, why? And he was like, because, uh, whatever, whatever. Like, he wasn't really saying no shit. And she was like, oh, it's, oh, he was like, it's Caster, you know, the, the kid. And she was like, see, that's your fucking problem, little nigga. You been, you got too close to these niggas like you got too close to autotune. You need to just, like, leave it alone. You know, like, you done got too attached to these kids. We all know these black-eyed motherfuckers don't live long. 
Like, she actually said, she said, like, these, I think she said, black eye, you know, kids, whatever, they don't live long or whatever, you gotta, you know, let them go. And T-Pain was just like, you know, it, it is what it is, whatever. So, into that, uh, at the end of the episode, this is where we see Whoopi do the, this, like, sacrifice thing, which was, man, man, I couldn't, I was just like, oh, my God. Because I'm not one, like, for me personally, I'm not one that gets, like, uh, like, like, I can watch violence, you know what I mean? Like, I ain't never, I don't ever be like, oh, shit, he killing them, like, no shit like that. But this was fucking disgusting. Like, he, at first, he takes, uh, I want to say he took a knife, and I want to say it was a knife, and he, like, cut two holes in her back, right? And so that part right there, I was like, oh, what the fuck is this? You know what I mean? And then he takes two metal fucking hooks and puts them, like, shing, like, up in the bitch's, like, back, like, two, and it, it looked real as fuck. That's what was so nasty about it, bro. And so T-Pain took these two chains and he, you know, boom, pulled them shits, hoisted the bitch up. That shit just looked fucking ugh. And so, this was to, I believe, like, see, like, the future, or whatever, or see Azra, or whatever the fuck. And so, T-Pain asked Whoopi, he was like, uh, what do you see? And she was like, I see everything. And so, that's where the episode ended. Enough of that. Uh, in the shit, we see MK. MK, you know, he's saying, like, he's talking to the widow, saying, you know, why don't you get your gift back instead of worrying about a real nigga like me? And she said, you know, she tried it, and blah, 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 blah. And so MK, he like, man, you know what? I done got enough of this shit, dog. You know, he, because I, I told y'all, he was he was smashing them holes in the first episode. So, you know, MK, my nigga, he got the holes on deck. But, yeah, he, he had the holes up in there. He had the holes on deck. And so one of them, I guess, his, his most loyal one or whatever, he was like, um, you got the shit. You know, like the Zannies, right? And so she was like, yeah, I got it. And she, you know, slipped him some zannies or whatever through his little cell. And she was, you know, all scared and shit. You know, she was like, bro, if the widow see that shit, he like, bro, trust me, fam, she ain't, blah, blah, blah. He popped the zannies. It was actually, you know, like a poison, you know, syringe. It was a zanny. And so he, like, tried to commit suicide, right? So he ain't got to, you know, live through the shit no more. Because, like, he ain't showing no signs of, like, you know, get the fuck up out of there. And so he about to die and shit. But then you see the inner, you know... Black Eye MK, like he sees him talk to him in like a vision or whatever, and or while while he's like dying and shit, and he show him he's saying the reason I can't come out is because you're like past you let the death of your mom you know keep me trapped in here because you think you killed your mom because of this shit when that's not the case you need to see what actually happened he shows him pretty much uh shit blah 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 it turns out okay at least in this vision you know Sonny is the actual person that killed his mom right and so there we see MK in this little dream state or whatever get mad as fuck whatever boom he, his eyes are black right like they, they turn black so he's got presumably he's got the gift back and we see in the preview for next week he has his gift back and so that's it with MK um, the other thing with MK was uh, Captain Hook from week one who, you know, got his arm chopped off by Sonny. He, you know, with the widow and shit. Uh, he has a dope, uh, I'm sorry about that shit. He has a dope ass fight scene with MK because, uh, he, you know, MK, he been like skipping out on his little fight training and shit. And so widow tell Captain Hook to, uh, train MK. And so he like, man, you know, whatever the fuck. And so, you know, pretty much, uh, Hook, you know, he beat his ass. You know, and he say, uh, oh, you, you got some good moves. Like, where you learn this shit from? And, of course, you know, MK was like, uh, she, best motherfucker, you know, the best clipper in the Badlands. And so, Captain Hook got mad. He was like, who, who Sonny, nigga? And then he was like, yeah, I'm assuming that's the nigga that chopped off your hand. And so, that's when he, he took that shit to heart. And so, you know, boom, he knocked MK out. And then all that stuff that I said previously about MK with the, the Zannies and all that shit, that happened after that, all right? And so now uh, Hook is sent out to find Badgie 
to help, you know, to bring in Badgie to help Widow and MK with him getting his gift back. And Badgie also has to, you know, help Sonny find this witch hoe to help Henry with his gift so that the gift don't kill his kid. You know, and so the, uh, uh, Quinn's first wife that got cheated on by the younger hoe that died, she, you know, like helping them all out or whatever. And uh, the nigga, Captain Hook, he pop up at her spot where, you know, Sonny and Badgie and Tilda and all them is at. And so they, you know, chilling, whatever. They got to hide from this nigga and shit because, you know, they don't want shit to pop off. And so uh, Tilda, you know, she come through. She helped the whole situation because he don't know Tilda. And so, yeah, she, you know, helped with that and shit. And so Sonny and Badgie, they make it out or whatever. Sonny was about to grip that stick and fucking, you know, get to work. But that's that. I think that was it on this episode. Uh, I kind of like glossed over whatever the last, like those other, after I kind of broke down the whole uh, T-Pain shit, I kind of just glossed over the rest of it, but I feel y'all get it. And obviously if y'all have seen the episode, y'all get it. Uh, this was another dope episode. It was like some uh, fun, you know, shit. I really, I don't want to sound like no little hype beast, but I really don't think Into the Balance has like, any bad episodes like, I think every episode at the very least serves its purpose and their fight scenes are always like really dope like I thought the MK fight scene was really dope and everything so yeah they uh, came through again we'll be back in this bitch again of course every Monday y'all catch me next week again. yeah so make sure if y'all are like new to the channel or y'all only like subscribe or, or y'all only watch or whatever the Into the Badland reviews or any other reviews or reactions I post uh, we'll, I'm here, you know, every Monday with the Into the Badlands uh, reviews. So y'all check that. Make sure y'all subscribe if y'all new to the channel. If y'all want to just check this shit out, you know, tap that notification bell. You get notified every time I upload. That's really important for YouTube nowadays because, like, yeah. But, uh, we out!